Hey YouTube, what's happening? It's Widgie here, bringing you some more Gwent, the Witcher card game gameplay. And today I decided to do a cheeky little rank progression video from rank 24 to rank 23, just to give some of the more amateur and beginner players an idea of what it's like trying to manage a deck and trying to learn a new deck that you've just created and trying to get those synergies working and also trying to anticipate what your opponent's doing as well. So definitely got some ups in this and I've got some downs as well. So I hope you enjoy these few clips and without further ado let's roll the intro okay. here's the better oh, wow. than your wildest, Syndicate wildest dreams player. I don't think I've ever played against a sin uh syndicate Come on. Uh, yeah alright alright um could put the damn course Oh, okay, right. Seriously, mate. You're very rude. Me to come on all the time. Oh, you got a bad case of rollers back. Um. See how this guy does. I mean, I actually I don't think I've ever played against syndicates. This is going to be very, very interesting. So spawn a fire sworn zealot on an ally bro and gain a coin. Interesting. You, yes, so he's obviously you. all right. He's using all of them. Okay, right, fair enough. At least I can use my ability on one of them. Oh, interesting. Okay. If I must die, I will die in glorious battle. Immunity. It's very good, very good play. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, there's no point in putting ships down at the moment, is there, really? Uh, this guy's got immunity, which is really annoying because a lot of my units. I might actually play the priest, Come actually. On. This guy's so rude. Our lines. I'll play the priest because I want to play the Draca next, and hopefully, I'll have a target. Next turn. But we'll see. So what I'm planning on doing is actually putting all this sort of footage together and putting it in a video, pretty much calling it Road to Rank 23 or something like that. And then I'll do another video where I go to Rank 22 and I'll just have some gameplay footage of me trying to progress and learning the game. Something for the uh, newer players and more inexperienced ones to try and understand. Right, okay, so we actually have... That's quite good. Um, they put that down. It's given him a charge. Um, banish only then play the top card from your deck if the target is. Shall be renounced by kin, condemned by your children. Cards from your deck. He's using some sort of fire sworn deck. Blessed light, so fine, it shall forever shine. Whenever you spawn one or more units to the battlefield, Come boost yourself by one. Interesting. Try that. He's going to keep boosting, which is kind of annoying. Um, yep. Uh, we might do. Try to think what to do here because we want to get the great sword down. So. Uncrate. That's probably good. Because we do have the this guy here. Who we kind of want to use if we can. So that then we can get our greatsword up even more. Boost chasing units by one. Tribute four. Boost all units in this row by one instead. Interesting. Cleanse right, okay, yeah. So he's... Interesting. Um, looks good. Um... Yeah, I might use that actually. Just for now. Come on. Let's try that. Glory to Svalblood! Cool. 
I mean, he could he could take full blood out potentially. Um, this is going quite well. This is getting us a lot of value here. Um, we've still got quite a bit here, but it yeah, it all depends on if we can get some bloodthirst out. Which is becoming difficult because he's got he's getting his stuff up here, which is well, I'll be able to play this guy next. Yep. Um, yep, so we'll deploy him. Wait, can he still be... Yeah, we need to get rid of him. It's not going to give us what we want, but... Calm yourselves. There you go. Can he pull my pass? There you go. Didn't get much from Sigvold there, but it's fine. We kind of don't want to play round two, so it depends what we can put down. Yeah. Uh, is it worth just putting him down? Come on. Yeah, all right. So annoying. Come on. Let's just put the bear down. We'll just end turn. Okay. Never a problem. Four inches of steel could be solved. You are worthy neither of mercy nor forgiveness. Yeah. Um. Thing is, now if I pass, he's a card up, which is kind of annoying. But I can't really do much. Come on. Yeah. That was kind of a silly play. Shouldn't have done that really. Yeah. I should have just dry passed. So there's a mistake there. So now he's going to have a card more than me. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to try and win. Which is kind of silly really what I did there. This guy here. Or anything like that. So... Board 9. Trigger this belief you possess a specific number of coins or more. Summon this unit from your deck or graveyard to a random allied row. Okay. Uh, we well could just swipe that, to be honest. Come on. Actually, put him down. Then we'll put the drum and berserker down. Depends if he can take it out though. He might be able to. Should have stayed put on the aisles. Okay. It's fine. Ah, take more of that to stop me. So at least we're getting value now with the protector. Annoyingly, it's hitting him. When we play. A unit next to those who seek wisdom in dreams perish as fools. Yeah, we kind of need to deal with that, but now watch this. Yeah, I see what he's going to do here. Part. So there's going to be a lot of shield here, and I'm not going to be able to do much. Um, let me think here. Come on. Hang on, let me think. Stop saying come on all the time. Thanks. Fill our hearts with wrath. Okay. I'm interested if he's going to put everything on the front row here, probably. How low we have fallen. Just trying to think, actually. Spawn Come three on. deafening sirens in the opposite row. Take damage. 
I will flop off three heads with one blow. I love how you just like constantly telling me to come on all the time. It's so funny. It's like, come on, do something. Come on. Okay. Confess or be damned. Come on. Wanna know why I got my star? Um. You only live once. There we go. Big play there. It's actually worked out for the first time for me. Prevent the unit to the left of him taking any damage. So we may as well just hit him for four. Why not? As we well use it. There we go. So this is actually quite good because it's going to damage all enemy dam all damage units by one, and then damage all of them again. Quite good. Come on. Boom. Yeah, all that talk. Get wrecked. Nice. First actual win with the, with the deck. Yeah, he was all about like, come on, come on. And um, yeah, we put it to him. So I don't think he's going to GG me. There we go. So against a Nilfgaard. To arms, all of you. And he has got tactical decision. Look at the top three. Five. Okay, right. Not too difficult to understand. Uh, we got our good and dim and corsair again, so that's good. Um, let me have a look here. He is quite a good card to keep a hold of, to be honest. Um, a wild boar, I don't need that right now. I'm hope hoping I'll pick it up at some point. Uh, the bear's good. I don't know what we'll use the priest for, because we don't have the armor Draca. Unfortunately. Few vultures dare venture into the Vomorlohum's wood. Ah, uh, let's see. Look, he's locked it, which is a shame. But uh, we could put the beast, the bear, down and give this guy bleeding. Um, essentially, ah, uh, or we could. No, there's no point in using that. Um. We could put the priest on him and just let him take some of that, but put the warrior down. I could probably replace him with something. Look at the top three cards from your opponent's deck and move one to the top. Without hesitation. It's interesting. Uh, right, what could we do here? We could give somebody some bleeding, maybe. That's probably what we need to do. Actually, we'll put this down because we need to get we need to get bloodthirst up. So if he puts any more cards down, well, there you go. Look, he's taking damage, and then hopefully the next card will take damage from the long ship, and then we'll put the bear down probably next. Depends if he puts an armored unit down. Ooh, top card from your opponent's deck and banish it. What's we he gonna banish? Ah, oh, that's not too bad. And we got a hit off there, so we could do four damage here actually to the courier. That gives even more bloodthirst. 
might actually do that. Might be quite good. Or it might hold off because he could play some sort of, you know, interesting card that could do something. I might just put the bear down actually. And now. It is kind of annoying that we lost the armor dracker, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, so we're looking okay at the moment. But, you know, Nilfgaard's very interesting. They could do all sorts here. They could move cards around, lock. I'm probably going to use Donna here. Donna Kebab. Let's get him out. We'll use him in a minute. Um, on a certain card. The um, Svul Blood or Svul Blood. Okay, he's actually going to pass. Interesting. Okay. Okay, we should pass. So that was quite good. Secured first round quite easily. So I'm happy with that. I like to keep a Freya's Blessing. Just just one of them. Um, yeah. Got another ship. So it might be good actually to bring back our Dimmon Corsair guy potentially. Um, Kind of want to keep these cards. That's good that we got this Savage Bear because we've got one in the graveyard. So that's going to be really good. Um... The priest. Uh, I mean, you could put the priest with the protector, but yeah, um, the priest isn't gonna do much here, to be honest. Um, I think this is okay, though. To be honest. So we go first. So we could put a protector down first. And then we can maybe go down the... Or actually, no, let's... Let's play this. And put down one of those. And that... He could try He could try and lock this card again. So... But what I kind of want to do is get a protector down and then a long ship. Because I've got two long ships here. I've got a protector. Um, and then put a protector in between the two long ships so it boosts him. And then maybe... I don't know. I don't know what to use the priest for. I'm not trying to play second round and try and beat him. That's. I just want to kind of use some of these ship cards so that I can then hopefully bring out a great sword. Uh, we can bring out this guy here and wild boar. That would be quite good. Sigvold's pretty good with the priest because the priest can do two points of damage and then he's doing even more. So... Yeah, so he's going to... There you go. That's fine. I mean, at this point, I, don't, I am thinking about passing. But... I don't know. I might actually play Skull. Is he going to put a card down? Wait, what? Okay, that was it. I might put him down and then just pass. Yeah. Because sometimes it can be difficult to do more than 10 points, to get more than 10 points on the board. And that might be a good opportunity for me to pass. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play him. Trying to, I'm still, I'm still trying to understand the deck that I've built, but... Yeah. I think there's a few synergies in this deck. One of them is obviously the Dimon Corsair, playing with the ships, being able to hopefully keep him as alive as long as possible. Meaning that we can do more damage, we can do provide more bleeding. So he's put a defender down for 2-2, two, two, so I'm just gonna pass. There's order. Then I'll be seen. Um Yeah, let's see. So he's still 7-2, so I'm gonna pass here. There you go. So it makes him have to spend another card. And then we're both on 10-10 for the, for the final round. Which is quite good, I think. That's where I wanted to have it. See what he does now. Okay, so he's playing the slave. It's fine.
Good. Good. Uh, we kind of want to get rid of Sigvold, I think. To be honest. Actually, no. We could get rid of this guy. Uh, I mean, double greatsword's okay. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can... Try and get rid of Sigvold, maybe? Ah, oh, yes. Got it. Clutch. Right, we've got to think about the way that we play this. Just got to be very, very careful. It's a specific way this needs to be played. Ideally, we want to get both great swords on the table before we do our ability here. Or before we play Wild Boar. Wild Boar is pretty much going to be the last card we want to play. Yep. So, he's come down. Now, what I'm thinking is putting a protector down and then a ship. That's what I want to do. Yeah, and they need to go in the ranged row. So let me put a protector down you here. Get three. And then we'll put... Try and put some long ships down. I mean, he could wipe that off the board, and if he does, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, he's playing another one of those jousts. So that's fine. Um... It's not the best, but what we'll do is we'll play the Dim and Longship, I think. We actually, to be fair, we kind of need to put a great sword down. Yeah, because we want to get the most value out of the great sword as possible. So put one on the front row. I'm great! The reason we're putting one on the front row is we're going to make him believe that we've only got one for now. And we'll put the second one down later on in the round. Just in case this one gets taken out. Like, he's probably looking at this thinking, oh, no. Like, great swords are pretty good units. Like, four for six. It's quite a good value. But he could remove it. He's got a, probably got a lot of remove. So. Beast of man makes there you no go. Look. To me. So, he's just played... He's played some big cards already. Um... Yeah, now... So he's got he's got orcs in his hand, but I can't remember what orcs does. Um, let's just play a... Uh, actually, let's just play a bear. So that bear's got a good value. It's got double bleeding there, but he might have purify or something like that, so we'll just see. But this is our big unit anyway, so we really want to use Wild Boar as much as we can at the end. We want him we want him to put down a lot of cards and have them on low health. I mean that's fine. Alright. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind him doing that. Um, I'm probably gonna put a great sword on the front row now. Hopefully he won't. What I might do is do my ability, actually. Because then it secures him at seven points. Yeah. So let's put the greatsword down. I will flop off three heads with one blow. Wanna know why I got my scar? There we go. So that way, now our great sword's at seven. It's more unlikely for it to be killed. I mean, he could lock it. He could do anything like that, which would be kind of annoying. But we do have this guy and we have this guy that can do quite a bit of damage. You control an agent, gain zeal. Draw a card, then move a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. Interesting. Okay, so that's dealing damage. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, what do we want to do more here? What's he got? Yeah, we could play him and damage a unit by three. Let's play him. The gods won't be pleased. Okay. 
And then we'll play maybe some long ships so they get a bit more value, hopefully. Or we might play Donner, or if he puts anything down with Armoured, we might use the Stunning Blow. Okay. There is no escape. Whoa. Why did he lock him? What? Why did he lock... He should have locked the Greatsword. Why did he lock him? Very interesting. I don't know why he did that. Uh, can we knock this guy down? We can knock him down to four. But I kind of want to get some units... Let's put this down. Here we go. Thirty-three, thirty-three. Look at this tight game, but the world bore. I'm waiting for it. Because the wild boar is going to do big, big damage. Yep. Goddamn fools. Okay. Okay, right. Let me think about this. Um... We want to do four damage. Uh, we could do it to him. What's he on? Seven. Car's got a lot of value. Purify a unit and reset its power. Damn it. Okay. An interesting play. Oh, look, he's got that, which is good. Good stuff. He is on he is on 44. Um much oh he's got raw decree damn what's he got damage adjacent units by three do you honestly okay. think you can catch me you fool Damage an enemy unit by two. What I might do is I might play the wild boar because I'm worried that he's got a card that's going to screw over him. But I guess if he's going to screw him over, it's going to screw him over, right? Uh, damage enemy unit by four. We could take out Serret here. Or take out him, actually. Let's do that. Hey, me! There we go. So we got, okay, so he's got five, sorry, yeah, five, so that's ten damage. Ten damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's see if it's enough, shall we? Do it. Oh, huge. Boom. Massive damage there. Nice.
So the Skellige deck didn't go too well at the start, but you've got to bear in mind, I recently created that deck and it takes a good few rounds sometimes to understand how the deck works and when to use certain cards against the type of enemy that you have. So we're going to switch it up now and go back to my good old Thrive Alive deck on the monster deck. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Boost an allied unit. Okay, that's fine. Hey, we've got Yearn. Yearn's very good to play. Uh, we don't need the Osral. Uh Yeah, that's the Wild Hunt card's good. Uh, I think this is pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Yearn's probably going to go down first, to be honest. The Lacerate is kind of a iffy card. This is actually quite good because if he if he does this, then our Lacerate is going to get even more value. So I don't mind him doing that. Um, we have two Ice Giants that we could get rid of as well. So a lot of stuff here. We've got Dominance, so I might put the Wild Hunt Hound down next. Um, and also the Streaker here. Or I might put Lava down actually next. Just to get a bit more Thrive on the board. Early on. As I say, Northern Realms tend to be a lot of damage on a ranged row, I feel. Like with Trebuchets, Ballistas, all that sort of stuff. I know that they can target, but a lot of them like will have damage to the ranged row. So, oh, this one's actually... Sorry, this one's damage. Uh, damage only muted by two. We ride That's into fine. The That's a fray. fine play. So, I don't mind him doing this because I can just... As, as long as he puts more on there, I don't mind. Also, I can just bring that back. Um, what I'm going to do is play my lava units there. So we can start building Thrive. So I'm going to get the Wild Hunt Hound to sit properly on the um, front row here. I don't mind, as I say, if he, if he like, wants to stack on one row, that's fine. Okay. I hate portals. So he's used his Geralt there. Uh, to be honest, that's not actually that bad. Because um, I can use... Okay. I can use my Striga here to hit one of his soldiers, and that will proc my Thrive. Or I just put down one of these guys. Yeah, maybe I do that. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. Because he's used his Geralt now, which is actually quite good. I like the idea that he's used that now, because it means, for me, I don't have to worry about that removal. So, do I have Geralt? I don't have Geralt in this deck, do I? I've got a lot of Thrive units still. This is very, very good Drowner. We can hopefully use him at some point. And I've put Griffin in here as well. Yeah. Ooh, whenever you play a unit with power less than four, set its power to four. Value your head. They never return. Yeah, that's quite scary. Ish. Um... Yeah, I don't like that at all. Is there any way we can get rid of that? Not in one turn, annoyingly. Um, play that. I don't like that card. We need to remove it if we can at some point. We do have Bleeding here and we've got Striga. So we might use a combination of that to take out this guy. Annoyingly, it's the Lacerate. I'm hoping I'll get more value out of it, so I am going to use it this round. Yeah, see, so there's a one unit, so... Okay. Okay. We still have Dominance, so I might actually just take her out. Okay. 
And I'm going to put a Bruxa down as well. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Depends if he can boost it. If he can boost it, I'm just going to lacerate the back row. And it will take that out and also do... It will do six damage, which isn't that bad. Um... And then I'll put the werewolf down and then use my two. Do that. Fall overboard and I'm not jumping in after you. Yeah, see. He's trying to keep him alive, which is fair enough. Um mm, 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 mm. might put the Bruxa down. We might just leave the Bruxa for now. Interesting, okay. That's fine. Uh, he has he has dominance, but it doesn't matter now. Uh, kind of want to put the werewolf down, maybe, or maybe Bruxa. But Bruxa is not going to do much for Thrive anymore. But it is going to give bleeding. But what's the point? In bleeding anything? Not going to have much use. Um. Let's do it anyway, though. Uh, hey, fearsome fella. Welcome, man. Hey, how's it going? Yes, yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. I don't think Let I've seen you on it before. Hey. Thank you very much for the follow, fearsome fella. Much appreciated. How you doing? How's your day? We'll just give that bliss and bleeding, I guess. Indeed, you didn't see me because I'm new. Yeah, I haven't seen your name before, so that's why. Um, so yeah, welcome. How are you? Tell me of your experience of Gwent. And also, as I say, backseat gaming, I don't mind if you want to give me some advice as I'm playing. That's absolutely fine. Um, we just ranked up to rank 23, actually, so I could change my description. Oh, hello. Here we go. It's going well, and I just started. The traitors will pay you for what they did. Ooh, that was quite good. That was quite good of him. I am a little nervous at the moment with what's going on, but I am still going to play. I'm probably going to lose this round, but I want him... He's used a lot of gold cards, but I have to be fair. It's going well, and I just started Gwent. Oh, well, welcome. Welcome. I am quite a low rank. I can't believe what... I can't remember what rank. I had an account like from Beta and now they're giving me a ton of materials and I made a bunch of stuff like Uprising, Draug, and Engine Double Scenario Impost... I don't know what you're talking about. What's he going to do I'm here? Oh, right, okay, just gonna... uh, I might use Lacerate here. Or I might save it to get the most out of it. So... <laughs> There we go. That was good, actually. That was a lot of value there. So this might actually might not go too bad. They're like pretty meta decks, as far as I know. Seems pretty easy for, for now. I'm ranked 21. Oh, there you go. You're breezing through. Easy. Easy. Okay. A lot of boosting going on, which is what I'm quite That's worried about. Change. That you could have a card, if there is a card out there, that does something if there's loads of boosted units. He seems to be boosting individual units you can see that see he's got so many boosted units now so this is what i'm quite worried about but i've got my lacerate though so hopefully a lacerate will do something to some of these yeah there we go so that might have messed his tactics up here if he had a card that does something for boosting. He's a little confused now. <laughs> Maybe there there must be a card that does something for the number of boosted units you have. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I think we I think we've won this one. Crew, trigger this ability if this unit is between two so okay, interesting. Okay. There we go. 51 to 49. Woo. Probably in his last turn he'll play another unit and you can take 12 points with Lacerate. Or just demolish his boosting strategy too. No, but it was just a random card. Yeah, I, th I, th I was hoping for a big card there. Oh, we got our Osrul. That's good. That's very good. We want to keep our Osrul. 
Um, the Griffin? We kind of don't want the Griffin right now. Destroy an allied unit on this row. If there are no targets, destroy stealth. I mean, that's kind of pointless. Um, I might just play our Primordial here and then end turn. That's what I'm thinking. I'll keep the Griffin for now. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to... Well, I may as well just do the fruits and then just play the card, right? Okay. Nice. And I'm just going to pass after this. Because I don't want to play anything else. I am trying to understand the strategy around when to pass and what to play like on round two. Because sometimes it's good to throw away a card. Especially with monsters because stuff goes to graveyard and everything. And you can use Osrul and you can use your ghouls and stuff like that. So. See, look. He's put a big card down here. I so dislike being disturbed. See. Yeah, what he should have done is he should have played this card. Yeah, I mean, I could be ballsy and try and beat him. Because I have 14 points here, but... Like if he receives a boost, for example, so he could do quite a lot to me here. Um, I was think actually, to be fair, I could play the Griffin. I could play the Osril, then play the Griffin to destroy the fruit, or just play it now and destroy the fruit, the fruit, and then put another fruit down. Oh, wait, what? Hang on, what? What did it say there? Oh, that was a real misplay. Uh, hang on. Oh, on this row. Oh, didn't read the card. Major error. But I think we'll still be okay. Yeah. I'm just going to let him have it. Like, yeah, like, like he's committing a lot here, so I'm just going to pass. I am very interested because I'm wondering whether or not I could beat him do you think I could beat him units in the graveyard in some case can be used as monsters do you think I could beat him here because if I put a 14 down that's going to bring me to 24 yes he's going to do some bleeding damage yeah I do yeah I do I've got I've got yearn or gyurn or whatever yeah There we go. I'm just going to take a gamble on it and see if I can beat him. This is quite ballsy of me to do this because usually you, you either play. There you go, look. Boom. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. Easy. See, that's the kind of card he needed when he was boosting. He needed to put that kind of card down, but he didn't have it. There you go. GG. Nice. I still mostly play CSGO. I mean, I've played some Switch games, but yeah, still hooked on CS. Okay, interesting. So you're not, are you not playing Valorant at all? I know Valorant's a little, a little similar to CSGO. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got Yearn, which is good. I like Yearn. Uh, we've got the beast as well. I don't know whether to play the beast at the start. We do have the eggs, which is good, and a buyer, which that's really good. Um, no. Okay. I kind of want to play Yearn first, probably. Or maybe just put uh, some lava down and then play Yearn. Might do that. Because then we get some more thrive, I think. You suggest not to play the beast first. No, I'm not gonna play him I'm not gonna play him first as in the first card. No. no. Because he could easily get swiped. Uh, which we don't want to really happen, do we? So he's gonna play the lava, which is fine. I might play my lava and then play Yearn. So that I get some value out of the lava, I guess. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do exactly the same as him. I'll play Yearn on the back row, I think. So. 
So it's going to give him two, four, six, seven. It's going to give him eight armor. So should be okay. I hope. Yearn's quite good with the beast, I guess. Go okay, big play. If he's got Geralt, he's got Geralt. Like it sucks, but we'll see. That's the only issue that I've got with playing Yearn is that Geralt can just destroy it. Oh, he's playing double Harpy Egg. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm probably going to play Harpy Egg actually. To be fair. Um, I might play Beast at some point soon. Um, not just yet though. Okay. So obviously he's he's probably going quite a big consume sort of deck. It's destroy an allied monster and spawn and play a base copy of it. So it could be quite big. After three allied units, are, we do have our mage here that I might play. But I don't know whether to play him just yet. I might play the Abayer and do the Death Wish here. That's probably what I'm going to do. There you go. And then what I'm, I am overspending here. I'm 37 against 12, so it's quite significant. So maybe I don't need to use the mage. Maybe not. Maybe it's not necessary. I mean, what's going to happen is he's going to play a Frightener that's 12. And then what he might do is eat that unit. And then spawn it again. Don't they? That was big play. I like that. But we are going to get rid of the, the Frightener now. Mankind is a virus. Oh, I can't. A plague. Okay, we can't use it. Um, can I actually get rid of it? Because it's a tactic. So, let me have a think. Let's play... Let's play the Harpy. Fifty-one to twenty-eight. And that's going to spawn a twelve. This is quite crazy. It's already got out of hand. This game. It's like really, really fast-paced. Um, probably going to put the beast down. I think. I like to put the yeah because there's a very, very high unit card. So I think the beast is going to do quite well here. So we're going to put him down. And he's got Goliath as well. It's fine. Didn't get any thrives off of the beast, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Your blood will warm my bones. Um we could just get rid of her. Oh, Death Wish spawned two more rats. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't really see the point in using Thunder this round. Um, we could lock the Night Wraith, but I don't know what he plans to do if he does want to kill the unit. Um, I don't know what card he could have that could benefit having more rats. A beast card, maybe. That's what I'm a bit worried about. Um... I think let's just go with the ice giant. I think. Seventy, big plays, big plays here. This is like the highest points I've ever got. So me. <laughs> I think the beast is very good in, with this deck. Yeah, bar guys, fair enough. So he's going to consume the wraith, and it will spawn two rats. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. Uh, what could we do? That's good. Because that got 6 extra on top of that. So that's 15. And he's passed. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with the passing. I mean, we didn't use... We, we used some big cards there. We did commit quite a lot. He committed a lot as well, though. So, you know, we, we both committed quite a bit on that round. 
Got another spear tip. That's good. Drowner could be quite good. The Oswald I'm going to keep. Um, I think this is actually okay. Um, I like the lock. I like having that with me. And damaging unit by five is good removal and lock. And we've got the Osrul. And we've got Drowner for Thrive. Maybe get rid of the Drowner. What else have we got in our deck? Yeah, because we could get something like Wild Hunt. Yeah, so maybe... Uh, the Ghoul could be quite good. Ah, lock. That's, that's actually quite good. I kind of want to play this round. We're at 5-5, five, five, so I'm going to actually try and play it. I am going to try and play this. Because we've got Osral, we've got we've got Yearn as well that can give us 14. We've got a 9 as well. We've got a 5 and a 5, so that's 10. 19. So it's quite significant. So Fierce and Fella, what, what sort of deck are you running with at the moment? Are you specialising in a faction or are you... Just sort of trying all different bits out. What What's your favourite faction, would you say? Ah, I've seen this card before. Other unit from your hand in this row. Ah, and I bet he's going to destroy it and then play it again. Yeah, I kind of want to get rid of that. Yeah, I'm probably going to get rid of that, actually. I don't like that. Because I had a feeling that you might use it. I'm specialising with the Nilfgaard double scenario imposter, which is pretty strong. And sometimes I use the Uprising Draug. I don't really know what they are. I've heard of the imposter before, but... Can't say I've heard of that. I am gonna play. There you go, I've locked that unit. So I've gotten rid of one of his cards, which is quite significant, I think, and I've locked another one. And that's got my Thrive as well. I am pretty confident here, to be honest. But we'll see. Yeah, see, I knew he was gonna do that, so it's a good thing I locked one of them. Oh, ah, interesting. Okay. That was quite good. So, that was an interesting play there. So, I don't know if my locking did anything there. But I'm just trying to think if I can still win this. I've got 23. I'm still confident I could win this. But, who knows. Might be a little bit... We'll see. We'll see. Because I might just pass... Okay, consuming an allied unit. Yeah, okay. So he's just going to... Oh, it's risky. Because he's going to have another... Has he got dominance? But Yeah, but he won't have dominance when I put this down. So he won't be able to use Bargeist again. Um, so if I put that down, it's going to be 14, 15, 16, 17. That's going to leave me with 40. So he needs to get 12. Should we risk it? I mean, what's the worst is that we, we lose the round, right? Um, there you go. 40 to 29. What you got? He hasn't got dominance anymore. Imposter double scenario is basically a deck. There's a very, very strong scenario from Nilfgaard that summons one unit with four points, then boosts one any time an enemy unit. Oh... Well played. Okay, didn't think he'd have that. Interesting. He had a banished card. Well played, sir. I honestly don't know what we got to do now. Because we've used a lot of our cards. We've got Ghoul. That's good. That's good. That's good. I think we're pretty good here. I think we're just going to have to run with this. See what we can get. What else do we have? Mm, we've got the Striker, I guess. And we've also got Wild Hunt, but... I'm just going to run with this and see how we do. 
Yeah, finish redrawing. It's gonna be very interesting. Opponent goes first. <laughs> the way to play this is play Bruxa. Uh, let's have a, sorry, I was I was reading there. Oh, that's quite good. I know what he's gonna do with that. Ah, uh, the annoying thing is I don't really want to bleed this because he's probably gonna kill it anyway. But Okay, so yeah, you summon one unit with four points and boost one any time an enemy gets status and then summons two other units, still four points, but who each give poison to an enemy. Wow, that's crazy. So their deck works around poison lock and other cards who delete people's... Wow. Yeah, I haven't tried scenarios yet. Well, I don't think I've got a scenario card, that's why. Um, I'm very nervous here. I've only got an eight point card, which if it thrives off those two cards will give me 10 points. It's 22. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I think I've won. Woof. And it's called double because at the same time in the deck, you've got a card when you can put said scenario back in your hand once played. Okay. We are at rank 23. And uh, yeah, it's going quite well. I'm quite confident. I am enjoying monsters a lot. So. But just a disclaimer. Um, I haven't spent any money on this game. So I don't really have a lot of the new cards. So you won't see any of the new metas because, well... Um, oh look, complete the mosaic for rank twenty three in standard mode. Well, oh, look, so we just need to do one more, and I guess I guess we're rank twenty two. So we're rank twenty three, and we we've completed rank twenty three, sort of, and we just need to win one more round, and we become rank twenty two. This is awesome. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Just a quick couple of games of me playing my Skelliger deck and my Monster deck as well, going from rank twenty four to rank twenty three. Please follow me on Twitch at Widgie one for the constant uploads and streaming that I'm going to be doing for hopefully getting my rank further and further up. And who knows, I might be able to get to that all-important rank 1 or rank 0. So, fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.